the SB 254, uh, this will permanent outlaw the mutilation of minors. I remember Tori coming to me one time and in tears, which she doesn't normally do. And I asked her what was wrong and she said DeSantis. And like the fact that a governor would be making my kid cry, that's a messed up government. I worry about her every time she goes out. Almost the wide open view. Yeah, sunsets are great from here. No. Oh, they just keep getting nuttier. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section and put in a discount code that you see right below me and get uh, a percentage off of the store. Why do you do that, Mr. Tatum? It's because I love you guys, and if you follow me, you watch me on social media, I'm going to give you a discount just for as a thank you for your support. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live and make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. They get stupider. They just get stupider. But let me say this. I know, I know I agree. I'm superfluous sometimes. And I say a lot of crazy stuff. Um, some of it is shock value, which means that I, I, I add a little extra on it because it, that's the way I actually feel, the extra that I add on it. But then there's times where I say, let's put aside the minutia. Let's put aside the antics. Let's put aside the comedic relief. Let's put aside all this other stuff. Let's go to the straight facts. This situation that happened in Florida is mind-numbing to me. I'm going to play the clip, but... Two things came to my mind. People really don't care if you're trans. Nobody care. There's billions of people in the world. Nobody's, if somebody see you, they, you're just one flashing person in, in, in the midst of thousands and thousands of people, people, individuals interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. And the second thing that I came up with is that how could you do this to your son? Like, unless you got some, some crazy sexual fetish, how can you put your son in a position where you're converting him into a girl and looking him in the eyes every day. I, I can't I can't understand. Watch the film. We just thought it would be a nice warm place to live where we could get to beaches. I just never thought that I would have to flee a state for the good of my children. First of all, you know he wore he wore the skirts in the family. That's why they kid trans. And this woman is a nut. You gotta flee Florida. You you're fleeing Florida. Because it's not safe for your kids. <laughs> anyway. The SB 254, uh, this will permanent outlaw the mutilation of minors. The mutilation of minors. I want you to listen to that. Ron DeSantis said the mutilation of minors. Minors. Okay. I remember Tori coming to me one time and in tears, which she doesn't normally do. And I asked her what was wrong and she said DeSantis. And like the fact that a governor would be making my kid cry, that's a messed up government. No, oh, you, you messed up. If your kid is crying over DeSantis, you messed up. Not him. You a bad parent. You should look at your kid and explain the truth to him instead of letting him be stupid. All right. We're absolutely moving because of the political climate and the laws in Florida. We didn't want to move. When the Florida Board of Medicine started meeting and we realized that they were going to ban gender affirming care for our kids, that we might need to leave because that is life saving essential medicine and treatment for our daughter. I was very relieved when we decided to leave. I had never really heard that much about trans people and until I was like 11 or 12, I didn't even know trans people existed. Hmm. So I was just used to being uncomfortable. I started- I, I gotta stop it there. I, I want y'all to catch that. I never knew that trans people existed. I was used to feeling uncomfortable until I was 11 and I realized this is a thing. Like, these children can really use help in that uncomfortable period. But now that they're introducing this alternative lifestyle that's never alternative and they're never going to get to where they want to get, he's, this dude is never going to be a girl. They introduce these kids to him and they give them this alternative that's, that's, a, that's literally a means to an end. Anyway. Hormone blockers pretty soon after that. Wow. 
country. Yeah, I mean, there was times before she started getting hormones and stuff that she was suicidal. But after she transitioned, yeah. she was much Stop more outgoing, it. much more like comfortable with herself. Okay, careful. We are seeing many families that are leaving. I really think if you were to ask a member of a trans family, they would tell you they go to bed at night dreaming of how to get out of the state. Good. Tell your get up out of there. I wish they all would go to one state and lead a good one so we can all stay in them and y'all can stay in these other ones. So that, yeah, that's the dining room right here and then this is the living room. My hope for the McKee family is they are able to find a community that embraces them. We're lucky that we're able to get out. We're able to afford to leave. A lot of people can't or it's going to be very difficult. I uh, feel really bad for the people that have to stay here. It's been difficult to access my hormones. I'm not honestly sure how I would continue to access care. Even if I wasn't trans, I wouldn't. Let me let me stop you right there. Let me listen. To, I want y'all to listen to this. This young person have no idea what's about to be uh, a pitfall in the future. You leave the state of Florida because you are emotional and you don't know how you can access hormones and stuff. You're not thinking about economics. You're not thinking about taxes. You're not thinking about job availability. You're not thinking about uh, uh, housing. You, you, you're not thinking about none of that. This young person is only thinking about hormones. Once you get past that, living in another state, what more does it afford you? It's ignorance. And, and hey, if that's how you want to live, hey, do it. Be comfortable here. It's just not a safe environment for queer people in general. I do fear for my daughter's safety and just the fact that somebody might want to hurt her just for her being her. For I can't even get through the video. Like, somebody want to hurt her for being her. Man, if I saw this dude, I, I, it, like a first glance, you'd be like, dang, it's either she looks like her daddy or that's a trans person. But you will interact with this person like this. You'd be like, oh. Oh, okay. 99.9% uh, .9 of people that see this person probably will just look at once, probably don't even see it, don't even pay attention. People act like people are like attacking trend. Most people don't even really know what you're doing here. You could just be an ugly girl. There's some ugly girl that look at the trans too, and they, they ain't men. Most people don't care. Most people don't bother these people. It's in their own mind. Unless you're trying to go on a date and you're not telling the man that you're a man, that's when you have problems. That's when people hurt people like this. But you just go into the store and the grocery. Man, nobody really know what you're doing. Nobody can tell until you start talking. But then again, people don't care. What are they going to do? Not serve you at the Whole Foods? Her existence is scary. I worry about her every time she goes out. Almost the wide open view. Yeah. Sunsets are great from here. No. I'm looking forward to just being in a place where I don't feel under where attack, you? where I don't feel oppressed. It's just so sad that our country and our society are in this place of denigrating people like that and making them feel like they have no place. It's just hard to start over all over again. It's so hard to start over again. It's because your parents are stupid and you are uninformed. Y'all can live in Florida just fine. There's whole communities of just gay people in Florida. Whole communities. I was in Miami, and there's a whole street for just gay people. Gay people welcome all over Florida. And, and because they don't allow children to be mutilated without their consent, essentially, because they're, they're not old enough to understand, you want to move out. Well, you're doing Florida a favor, if you be honest with me. You're doing Florida a favor. But hold the phone. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.